Hi guys, Angie here with Angie Makes. I am in Photoshop and I have a blank document and we're going to go over how you load and use custom Photoshop brushes. You can find custom Photoshop brushes for free on the internet and I've offered a few for download on our blog. So let's get started. And I'm going to come here to the brush tool, which is shortcut B. Just hit the B key on your keyboard and that will pull up your brush. And by default, you can sort of paint in Photoshop with all these default brushes that load, but we want to load our own, so I'm going to come up here to this arrow. I'm going to scroll down to where it says load brushes. Hit that, and here are the free brushes that I'm offering for download, and I've just loaded those. It's a .abr file name, and that just means it's a Photoshop brush. So I'm just clicking around here, and you can see, okay, I've got a heart. Um, I'm going to undo that by hitting Apple Z. Okay, I've got some neat words. Obviously, those are too big, so I'm going to play with the size here. And okay, that's cool. I've got some lettering. Now, I just made a mistake and I did it on purpose to show you guys. What I did was I clicked, and I make this mistake all the time when I'm in a hurry. I'm going to double click my background to make it editable. But basically, I just put this brush on the background layer, so it is now merged with that white layer. We don't want that because you want complete color control. So I'm going to create a new layer. Now I'm going to paint with my brush. And now you can see that it is separate from that background layer. And if I want to, I can double click to open up this dialog box for the color overlay option is. And now you can see I have total color control and it's not merged with that white background. Okay, let's come back up to the brushes. It's kind of hard to see what some of these are, um, the preview is kind of small so I'm just kind of clicking through okay there's a neat laurel and I'm gonna again create a new layer and paint and you can have all kinds of fun with this you can rotate transform um, you can obviously play with the colors and another thing that's kind of fun to do is play with the opacity and make it look kind of realistic with uh, the watercolor or the brushed effect so I hope you enjoy playing with brushes in Photoshop, and yeah, enjoy.